A sin of good people turn their heads each day So satisfied, I'm on my way so we're still talking about the uh, general uh, critic answers that we get from uh, talking to people about the resource-based economy. And one aspect that really comes up a lot, Roxanne, is this whole communism thing. It's like, well, is this Karl Marx speaking to me right now? You know, like, don't you see that everyone being able to have everything and no money being there is complete communism? Yeah, that comes up a lot. It's a real scapegoat, communism, but they really don't know what they're talking about. They haven't looked into the Venus Project to know the difference. Communism uses money. Communism has elitism. Communism has political parties or, or form people who make decisions. They don't necessarily have the notion of arriving at decisions and using scientific scales of performance to, to, make, to arrive at decisions. So communism is for the labor class. We are for the labor class to eliminate them as, as soon as possible. We have updated things to our technology that we have today to use technology to eliminate work as quickly as possible. They didn't look into that. Most of all, communism had wishes and aspirations, but they didn't have a methodology of how to arrive at it. And they didn't use technology wisely. So there's a lot of differences between Marxism or communism and the Venus Project. Yeah, what I'd also like to add to that is that uh, communism doesn't really take into consideration the, uh, the carrying capacity of the Earth because the resource-based economy really puts a lot of value onto how much can the Earth actually support and communism has right. never really applied the scientific uh, side into their theory. And they also didn't understand the notion of behaviorism and looking at what causes behavior within the system and trying to design a society to surpass the need for military, for prisons, for armies and navies. They didn't understand that concept either. They had the early stages with Pavlov, but they didn't carry it into how to design a society where people can behave constructively and cooperatively. There were a lot of problems in communism that they didn't know how to deal with. And they didn't have a blueprint. They didn't have city designs. They didn't have a technical blueprint as to where to go.